Okay, Ravi, you've beaten Ivan Kahuska, one of your English teammates here. Um, tell us something about the game. Um, well, I played pretty badly. Um, I think at some point I just played a weird plan uh, and I gave her a lot of counterplay. And yeah, I, I don't know. There's a lot of things happening in the game. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. She made the last mistake, so I guess that's, yeah. Okay, that's the one we have to look at then. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the game. Okay, Ravi, we're looking at the position just after the time control. Um, Jovi's played rook a4. Tell us something about this position. Yeah, so I guess rook a4, the point is like, if I ever try rook b2 and b5, she has c5. Um, or like, yeah, it's basically kind of hard to get my rook in the game. So I think I'm better here because she has a lot of weaknesses. Her king's a bit weaker. She has this, like, her structure's a tiny bit worse. Um, and her knight is really bad. I think that's a key point. But okay. I didn't know how to get my rook in the game. And this was a big problem. But yeah, I saw some idea to go into a rook ending. But okay. I wanted my king on f2, not h2. I see. So, so you just, moved your king to yeah. the square. And then queen g6. Queen g6. Yeah, king f2. King f2. She doesn't really have anything. So I think she should repeat. Okay. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Sure. And then bishop b3. And now okay. the point is if she goes king g6 to prevent me taking, then I have rook e1 and rook h1. Oh, you're creeping around. Yeah, yeah it's a tiny okay. bit annoying. I didn't, I couldn't work this out actually. Rook a2, king g3 and queen g8. Rook h1, king f7. Right, um, so she's got a counter strike if you But maybe I can go king f4 here. King yeah. f4, wow. Get away with that one. Could just be losing on the spot, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> some dramatic knight h3 move followed by some, yeah. some other bit of drama, but I can't see it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. She could have done this. Um, yeah. But I okay. think she was fine to go into the rook ending. Yeah. yeah, okay. Queen but e7. she played queen e7, which could be a mistake because now I have queen h5. And if I trade queens, maybe I'm doing well. I thought, well, yeah. Um, what she should have played was maybe just queen back to g6 because I think there's a difference. Because I mean, here I was going to take anyway. I see. Now, yeah. if she played queen e7, I took immediately and then I was like, why have I just done that? I could have just played queen h5. <laughs> because I hadn't calculated the reckoning properly. <laughs> okay. So um, you just went for it. Well, no, initially I thought it was winning um, after king e3. And in my thoughts, I've seen like c5, b5, and I was just like, yeah, that must be winning. But it's, <laughs> I mean, it's just really not like easy at all. Like it's probably... That's right, yeah. Probably she has enough count to play. Um, here she played f4, she also has rook a3. She has this sign which she can go for. I thought this one was losing. B6, yeah. uh, sorry, rook a b7, rook b8, rook b6. And then you snuck the king yeah. around the outside sort of thing. But. She can't come to g6 with her king because I take on e6. If she starts with f4, then I have, and then goes to g6, then I can take on e6 and go rook e7. So like the um, most natural way is just to come with the king like this. Yes, yeah. Um, and I f was fairly sure that I'm winning here, maybe king a5. Well, I don't know what's better, but. But I couldn't work it out, but I thought I had reasonable chances here. Yeah. Because um, her pawns aren't really doing anything and I'll probably win the rook. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it is, it's yeah. hard, to, hard to foresee. Well, uh, anyway, happens. it would have been a good try. But she played f4, which is a really good move. Yeah. Which I just completely missed. Um, mm -hmm. The point is that she can now come with a king. Okay, yeah. here she played c4, which is obviously losing, but instead king g6. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I guess b6, okay, eight. And this was quite an important line. b7, rook b8, b2, king f5. Um, and here I have c4. Okay. And if it takes, rook b6. And I thought I might be winning here, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe she can just go king f5, king e5. Yeah. 
Uh, but again, I think this is a decent try. Yeah. Because, okay, she obviously can't go to f6. If she takes on c4, then I think that's lost. Yeah. And if she plays d4, well, at least I have king e4 at some moment and coming in with my king. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> yes. Actually, I really don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. So I she... think the computer will obviously hold this, but I think this would make her life difficult. Oh. I like king, like if I just come with my king round to b3, so say she goes back. Ah, king b3, king d4. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a draw. So we may as, may as well look, look at the gruesome C4 Yeah, she, uh, she was unlucky because she saw after king d4, k3. I mean, what she thought was she has rook b3 here, but I can just take and king d3. King d3 yeah, and gets win. in the box and that's yeah. the end of the game. So I think that's what she missed. Um, just very tired, I guess. After yeah, moment. she was low on time. I don't know. Um, that's it, basically, isn't it? Yeah, no, your king yeah, just goes in and easy, yeah. mops everything up. Oh well, yeah. important point for your team. Yeah, that's important, I guess. Yeah. It looks like you're just going to snuck this one by about a point. Oh really? Well, I think so, yeah. Oh nice, okay. Yeah, I think yeah. we're probably winning by a point. That's cool. what we think. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much then. Thanks. thanks.